What is up YouTube? So today I'm going to be looking at the new chord to the MIDI function within Cubase 12. So I'm going to be starting with this sample here. And using a bit of Halion Sonic magic, I'm going to end up with this. Right, so I've got this little idea going, just a vocal sample and a beat. And I really want to have some chords in this track, but everything I've been playing in has just sounded rubbish, so... Like a lot of people, I decided to go through my sample library, see if I could find anything, and I found this one here. And I like the harmonic tension, I guess, that this sample is bringing but not too keen on the actual synthesizer or synthesizers that are playing this sample. Let me solo it. It's cool and everything, but there's not a whole lot I can do with this as a sample other than just loop it around, maybe chop it up, put some effects on, but musically, I mean, there's not really much room for movement here. But we have this new chords to MIDI feature in Cubase 12, so let's try that out. So as you can see, I've got a chord track here. And if I just drag that audio sample up onto it, and you see it's analyzed these chords as such. So let me just bring up a piano. So we're gonna go with this Yamaha one in Halion Sonic. You can hear it's done a pretty good job of deciphering what chords were being played in there, considering how complex the actual audio sample is. So let's play the audio sample along with the piano. Not bad at all, but I think I'm just going to just start finding my favourite chords and just moving them about until I get something that I like. And after a little bit of tweaking, I now have this. Cool, so now I think I can get rid of this audio sample because don't need it anymore. Did a good job, thank you very much, but I'm going now. And let's try a different patch. I think I'm going to try the Verve, which is new with Cubase 12. So I quite like this patch here, Bright Sunbeam, sounds like this. And then the track. Gonna need to do a little bit of EQing to get it to sit right, but first, let's see what else we can do within Halion Sonic. Let's go to edit. And for now, I'm just gonna turn off the delay and reverb on this sound. And then I'm gonna go to program, flex phraser, and let's have a look through some of these. Really liking this one, it just seems to fit with the vocal absolutely perfect, like as if they're from the same sample.
Now you can see in my project I'm working with a swing of 20%. So let's put that on the arpeggiator. Maybe let's try playing about with the gate, so how long the notes have been played for in the arpeggiator. Cool, I like it. Right, so I'm going to go again using the Yamaha piano in Halion Sonic this time. And again, let's go edit. Flex Fraser. So I like this one here. I think I want to use it as a bass line. So what I want to do then is get this sequence out of Halion Sonic and into Cubase. So I'm going to take loop off, hit this record button and just let it play through once. And now I can just click this and drag that into Cubase. So let's mute this and create a bass instrument. Okay, I think what we need now is some strings. Let's go back to Halion Sonic. Now, one of the things I've just noticed in QS12, we go to MIDI modifiers, we now have these presets. So I can just go straight to this. Put these strings up by an octave. So let's see if we have anything in Flex Fraser in terms of strings. I think we do. Have a look. Yeah, I like that. Let's record that in. And I think I'm going to swap this out for this thing that was given to me a few weeks ago. Happy Rod 2. And let's see what we can do to these strings using FX Modulator.
All right, so I hope you found that useful. I guess if you made it this far through the video, you probably did. So like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of thing. Anyway, that's it for now. I've been Craig Lopez. This has been Tutorialism. Now go make some music. Peace.